Hello lovelies and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Thank you for all your support so far and um, welcome to any new visitors as well. So I did a video recently for the upcoming summer solstice on June the 20th. You might have seen it. Um, and I spoke about what it's about. It's generally um, the summer solstice is about endings and new beginnings, um, reaching the peak from the last solstice six months ago. So think back to what you were doing in December for the, the winter solstice. So I'm sensing changes in the collective. Now the other reading I did was more for Twin Flames, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, but I just want to do like a general one today just for the collective and we just see like if any other messages come through for different signs, just see what I'm guided to, to do. We do have Mercury retrograde coming up as well on the 18th of June. So um, it's a time to sort of redo things, anything with re, repeat, review, rewrite. Um, and it is a time where people come back from your past, not even lovers, just people. You know, I find that does happen for me actually. It's quite interesting. Revisit, I guess that would be. <laughs> okay, let's get the main energy for the collective for the summer solstice. Okay, that's really interesting. Well, the ten of air, so the end of a, of a situation, the end of a cycle. So we're just saying we're coming to an end of something you know in your life it doesn't have to be anything tangible it can be you know emotional and embrace the change so it might be moving on from a situation a difficult situation some of you might have had addictions So just some more messages here. Um, we got another ten, ten of wands. So yeah, some of you might have been in a stressful situation recently, and you want to put an end to that. Um, I'm really picking up stress, a lot of work, things out of balance, and the phoenix rising. So you're gonna move on, a lot of you. I'm getting a feeling of like um, rebirth coming through my energy. You know where you can breathe. That that's the sort of feeling I'm, I'm feeling because I'm an empath. I actually feel the energies come through when I do the readings. Um, okay, two kings here. So maybe a time of being more in the masculine energy. In your, you know, with your feminine or female or male. Speaking your mind, so I'm really getting, I know this is very general, so it's hard to hone in, but if it's yours, you know, take it, okay, if it resonates. Um, this stressful period might have been with people, energies around you, and you're going to need to speak your mind with confidence, um, be quite logical, but diplomatic. And at the same time, balancing your emotions, so opening your heart. Some of you might have really been through a lot in the, in the romantic sense of things and have closed off your heart. Um, so this is a time for healing, that, yeah, the new beginning, 10-10. Um, I'm sort of thinking of the 10-10 portal. So last year we, we moved into the age of Aquarius, which is also time for new beginning. And here is the Ace of Air. A new beginning, new ideas, but a challenging beginning. Okay, enlightenment, seeing the truth in a situation. So this is like really amazing, although this is like really general. For the collective, I am seeing just a general like awakening which is what we're kind of going through the great awakening so this is yeah this is relevant 
Let's see what might be coming up for you after the solstice. Okay, now that's interesting. We got another king. So this is really about balancing, I'm getting as well. Mind, emotions, and sort of passion, the drive to move forward. Communicating with vision, um, maybe becoming a leader. Moving into something new, I'm getting for, for a lot of you. And with the eight of water as well, moving on to something more meaningful. So again, here, here's all those energies a lot of you are leaving behind. They don't serve you. You're not on the same vibration that you're moving up to like the more 5D energy, which is what that 1010 portal was about. <laughs> um, Google it if, if you want to know more about that. But that really is about moving up to the 5D energy, which is where we're aiming to be. So this spiritual growth, basically. Okay. A chariot at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, moving forward quickly. Being self-disciplined and being recognised. Definitely getting changes coming in, in your lives in general here. Okay, so that's, that's pretty um, self-explanatory, I think. Um, okay, I'm just going to now with tarot, just see like what messages come out for the general collective. This is kind of really impromptu <laughs> the way I'm doing it. Um, any message that Spirit wants people people to know okay well we got a repeat card here so this is really talking about opening your heart keep healing the heart chakra it's cancer scorpio pisces but it doesn't have to be that sign and this is about looking towards the future yeah um balancing your emotions and making long-term plans and that lucky break is coming again that change yeah the wheel of fortune is really relevant for this reading it's all about change and the bottom of the deck we do have the queen of cups so a counterpart if you open your heart and make a change then love could come in and there's the repeat the ten of swords so yeah difficult ending which will need some healing from that but um when we can heal a heart we can then like let love in so that's that's really important and yeah there you go the world at end of a cycle <laughs> this is this is just um you know quite relevant really i think for for what this reading is about um fixed signs scorpio aquarius leo taurus that so might be something more for those signs also with the will of fortune okay anything else for the collective that they need to know Okay, I see what this message is. Um, some of you need to build up the confidence to go towards someone. Yeah, as I said, we're coming into Mercury retrograde. That's where we return to people to make an apology or someone you've got your eye on. But you're really being guided to get the strength to do that. If that's what you're being guided to do in your heart, so that's why you need to tap into your heart, your emotions. And um, now's kind of going to be the time. Yeah. Ten of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, this is the time for unity coming together. A great awakening. <laughs> um, yeah, make that decision. There might be someone, you know, far away from you, potentially. Um 
Okay, you've got a connection with. It doesn't even need to be love. Can you know? It can be like a friend, someone you just you're thinking about. And sorry, I meant to say seven of cups. Yeah, being a bit confused. This sort of came out on top. So some of you are confused about how to do this, but your guidance really is to find your inner strength. Anything else on this? <laughs> you go, turn of cups again. So yeah, follow your heart to this person. You're being drawn to this person, I'm feeling. Okay, could even be family, as I said. Um, try not to make this a loved one again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Guidance, communicate and come out of that lonely place. Come out of the cold. Make things happen. Okay, someone needs to hear this out there. Yeah, this see so you're trapped. Feeling trapped, but it's an illusion. Okay. So that was like a mini reading, I feel. Um, we had Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. Any any signs, yeah. Don't don't sort of pick up on on uh, signs too much, okay? Any other messages? Yeah, some of you want to move on, move out of your home, move on to a calmer place. So there's that stress. This is linking to the stress, I feel. It's not making you feel balanced. And you're in your heart, I'm feeling your heart chakra, your intuition is telling you move on. But some of you are at a crossroads, a bit stuck, but whether to do it or not, yeah, follow follow what your heart tells you. Don't get too stuck in your head. Yeah, the swords, the swords. This is like um, thinking, overthinking. Think about the two options. This is just something I do. Okay, think about one, think about the other, and then see which one you say I want to do that, and where your heart pulls you. Okay, that's what I try and do a bit more now because. I'm intuitive, but I haven't always listened to my intuition, I'll be honest, in the past. And I've learned we should. And it's, you know, it's telling us something. It's telling us what we need to know, what we need to do. Okay. And yeah, there you go. We've got the same cards. So I think we've, we've come to the end of this cycle, but Ten of Swords again. Yeah. So end of a cycle and moving forward. Okay, so that's that's um, I think pretty self-explanatory there. I hope that's resonated. This sort of mini reading. Um, please comment if it has, and uh, I'll see you soon.